Valentine's Day, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I have something special. It is something that you can make for your loved one on Valentine's Day. It's something you can make for your Galentines, which is your girl get together. You know, it's so simple and so delicious that anybody can make it. Today I am wearing my red shirt, the only red shirt that I have. It's my sister's college, Marist. I have my Valentine's socks, my handmade uh, Valentine's scrunchies. You can order those as well. I will leave my Instagram for the scrunchies in there. So what I'm gonna be making is a chocolate mousse and I am gonna have little twills with it. It's a very thin cracker. You can roll it up and make it into a cigar. You can make it into a circle or you actually can, or you can uh, have a stencil and cut it out that way and you can make any kind of stencil that you really like. So first I'm gonna chop the chocolate. I have some bitter seed chocolate here. I'm gonna wear my school, the lovely Culinary Institute of America up in Hyde Park. My, the most amazing three years of my life. I'm gonna do that so I don't get stuff all over me. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop this chocolate up and I'm gonna put it in this bowl over here. And now on the stove, I have some water. I'm gonna be doing a double boiler to melt this chocolate. So I just have, I measured the bowl to the pie to make sure that it, the water on the underneath doesn't touch it because then I'll actually burn the chocolate. And you wanna make sure that your bowl is dry because water can really mess up uh, chocolate. Water and flour are not chocolate's friends. They don't get along. So I'm just gonna get everything into the bowl. Okay, now the chocolate is all melted and I just, you wanna make sure you wipe off the bottom so you get all the water and it's dried. And I'm gonna let this cool and move it to the side. So now I'm gonna whip my egg whites. Those are very temperamental. If there's a shell in there, if there's the bowl is dirty or anything, it won't whip. So we're just gonna whip those up. Okay, now they're kind of frothy, so now this is a good time to gradually add the sugar to it. Now this is all done. It's about a medium peak or so. So now you can see that it's holding. So it's like a medium stiff. All right, and now we're just gonna whip this to about a medium to stiff, just like the egg whites. The whipped cream is all done. I'm gonna set that aside. I have my egg whites here and my chocolate that is cooled. I'm gonna incorporate the chocolate to the egg whites. You want to get a spatula and just fold it so you're just going to be scraping underneath and lifting everything on top. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time just to get the egg whites used to the chocolate in case it's still a little bit warm. So I'm going to do about a quarter, maybe a little bit to a half, three quarters. You just want to lift and put it over because you don't want to deflate all the work that you put into the egg whites. And you wanna keep turning the bowl as you're doing this, so you're getting every corner. And I'm gonna add the rest of the chocolate. And 
this is something you can make the day before and let it sit. And with the mousse, you know, you can add anything to it. I'm gonna be making the twills with it, but you can add some chopped hazelnuts on top. You could put it over with some uh, pound cake or anything like that. You could put it between two cookies, which is delicious. See, we get into a good chocolatey mixture. And now we are gonna do the same thing, but with the whipped cream. So I'm just gonna add about three quarters. And this is a great way, you know, if you always, if you need to add something to hot liquid or you're mixing something that's cold and high, you know, you just wanna put a little bit at a time to get the temperature to about the same balance. all mixed you're gonna leave it in the fridge for about an hour or so you can even do this the night before so it's something off your list okay so now we are going to be making the twill batter i'm going to be starting with some butter it's about half a stick of butter you want to make sure this is soft so it's very easy to mix butter i am just going to whip whip I'm gonna sift the powder sugar into here. Just gonna scrape all that down so it's easier to mix. You want it to be almost kind of like a dough. It's gonna be crumbly. And even though this is just the powdered sugar and butter, you still want this to come together first before you add anything else. We're gonna take our egg whites and we're gonna add about half of them. It's two egg whites in here. So you don't want the egg whites to get fluffy. You're just gonna spin everything around, try to make that all into one dough again before you add the rest of the egg whites. Now you're gonna put this dough in the fridge and you're gonna let it sit for about an hour as well. So that's why this dessert is great to make the night before or you know, just early in the morning and just have it sitting in there. Okay, so the twill batter came out of the fridge and it's all set. You can see it's kind of like a thick paste. And now with twills, you can always, you know, do it in a circle. You can put a stencil with it. So first I have parchment down, I'm gonna spray this. And I have the oven at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna do a bunch of different shapes. So I'm just gonna put a spoonful down. And you can make this like as fancy as you want. You can make a stencil for the circle specifically. You can do different shapes. So now I'm just gonna spread this around. You wanna get it as thin as possible. circle and then I went ahead and I actually cut a heart out um, on this index card see if that works hmm. came out pretty good and you only want to do a few at a time because when you take them out of the oven you want to take them off the tray really fast so they don't Especially for this one, I'm gonna do one that's a little bit bigger. We're gonna turn it into a bowl and put the mousse in there. Okay, so now these are gonna go in the oven for about five minutes, but you wanna keep an eye on them. You want them to just get golden browned uh, all around and that everything's even. Okay, so they just came out of the oven. You wanna work really fast with these. So for this one, I'm just gonna peel off right over a cup. It's gonna be hot, so I'm gonna push it down for a little bit. 
and you just want to, you know, protect your hand with this. Put over any shape you want, but you want to make sure that before you do this, you will know the size of cup that you're going to be using or bowl. Okay, and then with this one, I put some red sprinkles on it, and I have a chopstick right here. And hopefully before it gets too cold, I'm just going to roll this up. We're going to make this into a little cigar. I did let it sit for too long now. But to make sure you're doing, you know, one or two on a tray at a time. Because they cool really fast. Mmm, nice and crunchy. I'm going to show some different ways that you can plate this up. Let this go to the side and cool off. So if you want to just serve it in a regular cup, you could do a few scoops. You could put some raspberries in between. Or strawberries, whatever kind of fruit you want. Another scoop or so of mousse, and depending on the size of cup that you want to use. This wheel here. You just put that right there. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Super simple. Then we have this cup right here. And do a scoop right in. And then I have a strawberry that I sliced and I'm gonna fan it. So cute! You just do just mousse. Just shave it right on top. Add some more chocolate flavor. Oh God, that's beautiful. Then you can take your cigar, now it's all set. Put that right in on the side. Oh, look at that. It's for either a Galentine's or a Valentine's. And this tastes decadent, so it tastes like you put a lot of work in here. Simple, you can have any one of these, and they all look so cute. Enjoy, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and tune in every Wednesday and Friday for a new bacon video, and Fridays for my food review Fridays. Bye!